Hey guys, welcome or welcome back to my channel. My name is Bo and welcome to the first episode of The Loner Diaries. I don't know if I'm gonna stick with this name, who knows. I was a bit hesitant at first using this title as a new series name because I feel like loner has such a negative connotation attached to it. But when you Google the term loner, the academic definition describes a loner as a person who prefers not to associate with others, which perfectly describes 90% of my days of the week. I'm a loner by choice, less so by circumstance. I love my friends and I'm extremely appreciative of their presence in my life, but I just happen to be a little more introverted as a person. In other means, I need less social interaction than the typical others in order to feel self-actualized. With that being said, I will be taking y'all through a few days in my life, just hanging out with myself, frolicking around the city by taking myself on dates, and doing fun activities all on my own. All right, y'all, so I'm just about to leave. It's so nice out today and it's like 5.30 now. I just feel like a calling to like get outside and watch the sunset and like take a walk or something. Um, before we leave, I wanted to show you guys a bit real quick. was to literally go straight towards the harbor front but then i stumbled across this really cool thrift store it just opened so y'all should check it out if you guys are from the city i copped a couple things this was one of them and these are the other things i was interested in <laughs> And then we finally got to the harbor front after that little fiasco um it was really pretty out i was just like you know down bad for the sky and this is what i got i got this little hoodie thing and this red wool sweater it stopped raining since it stopped raining i am determined to head to a cafe and grind it out do some studying do some editing and yeah that's basically the plan for this morning and let me just show you guys i can't speak let me just show you guys the fit so it's a mom jeans type of day got some gold drip on Afterwards, I just went to go pick up some groceries and then I stumbled across this really cool crystal shop. Um, I get like, I don't know if like crystals actually work, but at the end of the day, it's all about that self fulfilling prophecy, right? So, like, I'm just gonna tell myself that crystals work whether it does or not, you know. I feel like your mind is the most powerful thing. After that, I just continued my walk and then I went to this like cool little park and then I kind of just watched the clouds because she was beautiful that day. So we just made a very impulsive purchase from Butter Baker. I was craving cake. I just got a birthday cake. I'm so excited. All day I've been craving for this slice of cake. We're gonna have it. I've actually never tried this kind before from Butter Baker. My mouth is like watering, like salivating and shit. Like, bro. Anyways, we moved from that because that was very disgusting. On my Tuesday morning, I spent my morning at my university's recreational center. I just wanted to dance, you know, just one of those days. 
And then afterwards, coming home, I passed by my local florist. I bought myself some roses because why not? For breakfast, I made myself some pancakes, some blueberry pancakes. Um, this is very simple, straightforward recipe. I'll link it down below um, of when I made this in a video and talked through it. Later on in that afternoon, I decided to frolic around this little like marketplace. I went into a bunch of cool shops and saw a bunch of cool like handmade jewelry, crystals. Later on that evening, I was craving for some dumplings, like heavily, so I took myself out for some dinner, table for one type vibe, you know, and I ordered myself some dumplings. It was delicious. <laughs> And after my breakfast, I went out to go find me some glasses because I'm freaking blind. I also need help. Which one do you guys think I should get? Comment down below. So we just got home. We made it back. What a journey today. So basically what happened was I wanted to get glasses, but they didn't have the glasses that I wanted. So like, I didn't end up buying glasses, but I was there for like literally half an hour, just like trying on glasses. And then like, finally I found the pair and they didn't even have it in stock. So yeah, that's what was going on. But um, now I'm about to make dinner. I checked my fridge and I have a lot of freaking like leftovers of random stuff. So basically I have like some like old parsley, but like there's only like one bad piece of parsley in here. So I think I can still use it. And then we have um, cilantro, I think this is, but it's no, 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 this is still parsley. And then we also have cilantro. And then we also have some mint and basil that I literally did not use yet. So the ingredients given to me right now screams for pesto dish. Y'all, so I basically make this dish like every single video. Um, you guys are probably sick of this recipe by now, but all you really need for this recipe is parsley, mint, basil, any nuts. I like pine nuts, walnut, and nutritional yeast, a zesty squeeze of lemon, and mix it up with some kale and your protein of choice. And that is basically your avocado pesto pasta. Just finished cooking um why am i so weird today i cooked this chicken like four days ago and i like did not end up eating it and i didn't even like fully cook it i like half cooked this chicken so like half of it was still raw and like yeah so i basically just like ripped it into like small pieces and then re-stove cooked it um, and then put it in here. Now we're just gonna chill. We're gonna eat this. I'm actually watching a pretty interesting docu- eh! yeah! Not on my white! Bro, this happens all the time. Like, right when I wash my white hoodie, I get it, like, 
dutty like right after that was really dumb like trying to suck out suck the green out because i had lipstick on and now it's pink okay anyways i'm watching this very intriguing documentary right now about Agrocombi and Finch. Actually, I don't know if it's intriguing, but it's just like fun to watch. Comment down below if you guys lived through that like Agrocombi phase. I didn't. My generation, we I think we like just missed a boat type thing or like missed it by like a few four years. It's intriguing to watch this stuff. I don't know. Popular culture things. But yeah, I'm just gonna watch it right now. As I eat. <laughs> Thank you.